Hello, I'm James, and this is my little guide to Armour 2 editing. Let's start with a map, shall we? Now, to be honest with you, like from the start, I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to editing, so I'll be muddling through this, but hopefully, if you muddle along with me, you'll learn something as well as I do. Right then. What we're greeted with here is, first off, this is the map. It's a 2D editor. We'll be placing the units here. And if you want to navigate this map, it's mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And it's right mouse button to move about. On the right hand side, in this bar, the first box we come to is mission. Which is actually a drop down box to mission, intro, outro and win. In the out throw win and out throw lose. Now, the mission effectively each one of those is a different map, and each different map has a different use. The mission map is the one where you will do most of your editing, and that'll be where everyone plays the mission. The intro is where you will create a intro to your mission. Um, it does this. It does these on different maps to save on, uh, well, processing. Outro, win, and lose are basically just outros, what you want to happen if you win and what you want to happen if you lose. These aren't particularly important. The intel bar box here gives you a lot of conditions to set. I'll start with the top. The, you can name your mission here. You can give it a description, you can set the date, and you can set the time. You can set the weather and its forecast, and the fog and its forecast. You can also decide who the independents are friendly to. Quite useful. Now we really get into the meat of it. From F1 to F7 are the next uh, buttons, and I'll go through them in order. F1 double clicking will create a unit as so F2 double clicking will create a group you can also group um, units together by clicking and dragging I've created a group and now I want to group this guy to them so I click and drag to the squad leader and that little line indicates he's taking orders from him Triggers are very important. They're the type of well game logic. These they'll help you create different end create endings and different other radio commands if you need them. We'll go into that into detail with them later. Waypoints allows you to give orders. See, I've got the squad leader highlighted here. I double click. A move waypoint appears. Now when the game starts, he'll move to that waypoint. Synchronize allows you to synchronize waypoints, synchronize triggers ma and modules. It's very, very useful. Markers is um well more of a cosmetic thing really. Let's see that one will do. Now that will appear on the map when, you act, when you're in game and you can actually put some text here and that will appear under it. So that's kind of useful for highlighting objectives as if you know the people have just drawn on their map. Modules, this is a type of game logic. Again, quite complicated. I'll be going into that um, if I need to. Now we get onto the easy parts. Load. You save a mission, you load it. Merge is well for merging two missions. Saving obvious clear deletes everything. IDs, when we click on that, you see how all these buildings have individual numbers? And well, all the fences and everything well, that's in case you want to 
script a trigger to, or you know, some kind of special event to happen with this building, like say you wanted to blow up, you would use those IDs, ID numbers to ID it. Textures shows us the textures on the map. And exit means that this is the end of the video. Thank you very much. This has been a basic introduction. Goodbye.